Okay, with this episode of Your Next Path, we're going to talk a little bit about counterintelligence. Uh, if you've met me in person and gotten to know me, I'm a little bit of a stickler of grammar, which that's fine if anybody else doesn't use it. I don't know. It's just some mental thing because I took grammar and English about three times in college. So <laughs> I guess I got good at it over time. But uh, the name of this episode is Don't Do Nothing. When you think about that, it means maybe do nothing. But if I'm saying don't do nothing, it means that you should be doing something. So don't do anything would mean what you think it means as far as doing nothing. But don't do nothing <laughs> means to you know, make some type of action. Make something happen. Just keep going. Now, the uh, example I want to share about this, I've tried to figure out how to put it into a podcast, but I'm just going to do it. When the Super Bowl was going on, uh, we saw between the 49ers and the Chiefs, like how the game was progressing. Really close, really good game. Uh, I don't know football that well, but uh, I, I enjoyed the game at least. With the post-halftime start, the Chiefs, like they really had a difficult time starting off because it, it there was this sense of energy of yeah we're going to turn it around that's like the common theme of if someone's behind at halftime they're really going to turn things around and the first couple uh plays they were really difficult and i mean like it was you know didn't make the pass didn't get the handoff didn't get any distance and it just kept over and over, and then it turned over the ball. It's like, well, okay, we could have, they could have accepted that. They were defeated, and then not gone on into overtime like they did and won, which is amazing. So that's enough of the football and Super Bowl stuff. <clears throat> but it means that don't stop if something isn't working. Just keep going. It's not over in a whole single second. You may hear people talk about if you had $86,400, and somebody took $10 from you. Would you be so upset and care enough that you said, okay, well, you know what? Take the other 86,380 or 90, sorry. And the reason I talk about that and why others talk about it is if you didn't know that number, that's how many seconds there are in a day. So if you give someone 10 seconds to affect your full day, Think about that in monetary terms. Are you going to take all that money that you've got, all that time that's worth more than money, and you get to give it all away just because you had a bad 10 seconds? No. You get that 10 seconds, you shift your mindset, get on to something else, find where you can win, keep going in a positive direction. Now, I say this because uh, you probably hear this in other mindset stuff and motivational things. No one else is a bigger blank than your own self. A bigger critic, a bigger motivator, a bigger cheerleader, a bigger enemy. So no one else is a bigger enemy than your own self because when you look in the mirror, you're the only person who's gonna be looking back. That's the only person who really knows what's going on in your head, knows the challenges, and knows how you can get over it, how you can be affected by it, how you can be held back, and how you can overcome those things and be a true victor. And that's what I want for everybody to get their mindset set into, is that you're gonna be your own biggest cheerleader and coach and person who can develop. Now that doesn't mean don't have a network or a team or anybody you reach out to. It doesn't mean to be eager and want to succeed. Just like I said, don't do nothing. Do something so that you can find someone you can reach out to. You can have somebody who's a coach, someone who's your advocate, someone who is your mentor in somewhere that you've got an opportunity to succeed. May not be exactly in the job because people are in any stage of their career. Finding income, getting to a place where they feel safer, more structured, and then getting ahead is really important. So no one else is a bigger blank than your own self. I want you to think about that and then tie that into daily affirmations when you say i am caring i am blank i am blank when you go over those different things in your head make sure that you're thinking of that like no one else is a bigger blank than my own self 
What's important is that now you're feeding one of the two sides. Like you hear about two wolves of your soul and stuff. Like the two sides are one's going to be negative, one's going to be positive, one's going to be pessimistic, one's going to be optimistic. So whichever of those you feed, you're going to lean more into. You're going to see more. If you were st- like I've seen a thing when we were, I was in quality assurance, like if if you're looking for bl- problems, all you're going to find are problems. If you start looking for opportunities, you'll only find opportunities. So you're going to go hunting for every problem, and then everything you see is a problem. And you're just trying to solve problems, and you feel the negative impact and energy from all those problems. And you've got to get beyond that. So when you're hunting for opportunities, when you keep your mind open to success, so that it's not when something comes up, and it's difficult and you struggle and you didn't do it as well as you could, you at least did something towards that. And in that, you learn, you adapt, you overcome, you improvise, you keep going, you go stronger, you learn how you can be better, and you keep going. Like even this podcast, which I'm pretty sure what it is, (laughs) what it's called. Like I started out just recording something, and when I did that, I didn't know that when you uh, are, well, I was recording on Zoom, which is brilliant. But when you pause the recording, I thought it paused the whole recording. It actually just stopped presenting what I was presenting. And then it, there's like a minute and a half of me putting in information to show where the next step of this process for uh, a VA sponsored life insurance type policy is. <laughs> what it is cruddy, but I improved. I said, oh, you know what? I'll post that. That's fine. I'm going to keep going until I can improve and improve and improve and I'm here. So make sure you start creating something that matters to you. And it doesn't have to be crystal clear. Like I want to create this message. I want to create a history, like a museum of wisdom and knowledge that veterans and everybody else can tap into. So it it's going to continue to grow. And as I reach out to more and more and more and more people, I'm getting their perspectives. I'm getting better subjects that I can learn from. One guy I talked to this other week, he's at the PhD level. And that's awesome because there's so much, like I read PhD papers and all these white papers and all these studies and different stuff because that interests me as far as what I want to learn and what I can apply, apply for action to. So a lot of research is just done and it discovers something that's a challenge for others. When there's that challenge though, what happens after and what is the action step? That doesn't happen in a lot of research, but hopefully the people who do that research, they create the execution step so that then they go beyond that. And they start the action that's gonna change the results that they found. So this is where I'm going to kind of pause it for today. I think there's some big nuggets in there. So make sure you're, (laughs) you ain't doing nothing. So don't do nothing, do something. So start creating something that matters to you because no one else is a bigger blank than your own self. So make sure you're responsible for that. Take some action, keep going. And I look forward to talking to you on your next path. This is Pat Byrne.